Traveling the world can be an incredible experience. Still, it can be very costly, too. And there's nothing worse than having all the travel wanderlust in the world while not being able to afford your next trip abroad. However, if you're willing to make some sacrifices, it's possible to afford a travel-filled life. In this video, we're going to give you the six most important tips about how you could afford to travel full-time or extend your trips and travel long-term. We're going to go over locations, travel style, and accommodations. And at the end, I'm also going to give you some job ideas that you've never thought of yourself. Probably. Do you like to travel? Are you curious about everything that the world has to offer? Well, then make sure you subscribe, gosh darn it, to our channel and leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. And also, don't forget to tap on that bell icon to turn on notifications. Thank you. Or maybe not, thank you. Whatever you choose, I'm comfortable. <laughs> Anyways, to get started, there are two main ways to make long-term or full-time travel possible. And they both have to do with, you guessed it, money. First, you want to save up your money and travel as cheaply as possible to reduce your expenses. And second, you want to find a way to earn money to cover the costs that you do have. Number one, live frugally. This is the first thing that you could start doing right away. Living frugally allows you to spend more on experiences, enhancing your life. Think about what matters in your day-to-day -day life, and then start paring down the extras. A well-made meal at home is better than an expensive restaurant. Hanging out with friends instead of going out, <laughs> using public transit instead of Uber or Lyft, and driving less by taking the bus, walking, or biking. Selectively buying clothes only when they're on sale. Using coupons, shopping at thrift stores to purchase secondhand items, be creative in your saving efforts. Think outside of your day-to-day -day routine and look for ways to save money. There are easy changes that you can make in your lifestyle that allow you to meet your goals and to live comfortably. This is also an excellent time to start doing some research into financial products, such as credit cards, insurance policies, retirement plans, and investments. Saving money for travel is possible if you budget your finances every month. Number two, find cheaper locations to travel to. If you find somewhere that's a little bit cheaper than where you live at home, you might be able to stretch your dollar there and travel there for longer. Something that can be helpful is to look up the cost of living in a country or a city that you're thinking of traveling to. So you could check out a website like Numbeo, for example. You just punch in the city where you're living and then put in the area where you're thinking of traveling and you'll get a pretty detailed comparison of the cost of living at the place that you're currently at and the place that you're thinking of traveling to. This can easily give you a great idea of how to budget for your trip, and it might also give you some pretty good ideas on new places to travel and places that you might not have thought of yet. Another great website to find interesting places to travel to and compare the cost of living is Nomad List. You can also check the currency exchange to compare different countries. Number three, change your travel style to slow travel. Most people travel pretty quickly and they want to see as much as possible in as little time as they have and go to a new town or a new city every couple of days. That could be super fun because you get to see a lot, but inevitably it's a more expensive way to travel. So the best way to save money is the idea of slow travel, spending longer in the same place that you're visiting. Obviously by traveling like this, you don't get to see as much of the country and as many different attractions, but it feels a lot more relaxing. It feels like you get more of an authentic experience and at the same time, it ends up being cheaper. Number four, limit expensive tours. It's a good idea to limit expensive tours and attractions. Again, I feel like you can still get a really enriching travel experience without necessarily doing these tours and attractions. For example, when you go to Paris, you can pay a pretty penny to go up to the Eiffel Tower, but you can also skip that. Because then you can also get a good sense of the city and going up the Eiffel Tower, it's, it's not necessary. You know what I mean? You can't respond to me. I don't know why I... I <laughs> Anyways. Number five, setting a daily budget. When you're traveling, it's easy to just spend a little bit more money here, a little bit more money there. When you don't have a budget and you're not keeping track of your expenses, that can kind of get out of hand. So when you set a daily budget for food accommodation, transportation, entertainment, you'll know by the end of the day if you've spent too much money on entertainment and, for example, maybe you need to cut back, you know? Having a budget and following a budget like this can help save a lot of money in the long run. Number six. Arrange free accommodation. There are plenty of possibilities for finding free accommodations, usually in exchange for volunteer work. Worldwide opportunities on organic farms, WWOOF, links volunteer with organic farms that need assistance. You will be provided food and accommodation if you work on a farm. 
And as you usually only work 8 hours a day, there's still be plenty of time to explore and sightsee. There's also Help X, House Careers, and Work Away. Yeah, it's a lot like, woof, only it's not on a farm. In exchange for food and accommodation, you usually work around the house for about 4 to 5 hours a day. You can work a bit more to earn extra cash if you need. It's a great way to reduce expenses and experience something that's unique. You can also do some volunteer work for a hostel, and in exchange, you get free room and board. Many hostels are so understaffed that they provide free food and accommodations in exchange for about four hours of work each day. You're free to explore for the remainder of the day. That's a great way to meet a bunch of new travelers. Another great option if you own a home or own a condo that you can also try is home exchange or house swapping. You can also work as an AU pair, which is when you live with the family and take care for their kids. Take a look at aupair.com or opair, I don't know, or greatopair.com. Couchsurfing is another really good option. This site allows you to stay in someone's home for free if you're willing to do the same for them when they travel. Over 6 million members. It's no surprise that it's one of the most acceptable ways to save on travel costs and have an authentic experience simultaneously. The benefit of couchsurfing is that you meet a lot of new people, including those from all over the world. You might not think about it at first, but often you'll end up meeting lifelong friends. You'll find yourself more connected with humanity than you were yesterday, you know? I, I, again, with the you know. Okay, these were the tips. Now we're going to give you some job ideas. There are so many different options, and if I had to list them all, we wouldn't be done by tomorrow. And hopefully, this is going to give you a starting point by informing you on what you're looking for. First, if you're under 30 or 35, you might be able to get a working holiday visa to legally work in the country that you're traveling to. You can work in hospitality as a tour guide, a street vendor, photographer, videographer, sports or fitness instructor. You can teach a second language. And there's also a lot of farm work available. If you prefer to work online or you're getting too old to get a working holiday visa, then there's plenty of online jobs options that allow you to be location independent. You can do remote translation, web design, remote customer service or social media management. You can become an affiliate marketer. Uh, a YouTuber, uh, uh, a social media influencer, or a virtual assistant. You can write ebooks, sell products online, become a dolphin, be a consultant in your own field, or you can even teach a language online. It's all possible, everything I've said. If you're a freelancer that can write or make videos, or you're good at graphic design, or you got some sort of skill like that, then get on Upwork, check out their jobs. Freelancing can help you travel cheaply. It's the act of exchanging time for money like a job. As a freelancer, you are your boss and you set your hours. If you have access to the internet or a data plan on your phone, then you can work from anywhere in the world. You can make more money when it's convenient for you to do so and work less when needed. You'll also save a transportation cost because you won't need to visit an office daily. It'll allow you to find work opportunities where they're available instead of waiting for them to come your way. If traveling is a goal, then being able to provide yourself with income while doing so opens up possibilities that you just can't get otherwise. If you have a specific skill, then there's often a way to turn that skill into making some kind of income online. You might just have to be a bit creative here and be willing to put in the initial time and effort. To get something started, remember that if you're starting your own business online, things like that don't necessarily happen overnight, and sometimes it might not be enough to cover all your living costs, really. It's also possible that you'll need to combine different smaller sources of revenue to make a sustainable income online. So, that was pretty much it. In conclusion, the key is to be creative and open-minded when saving and earning money. Of course, we all have different budgets and lifestyles. You gotta find what works for you and your needs, not what necessarily works for somebody else. Thinking of all the obstacles before embarking on any new adventure is, well, it's pretty easy. But don't let these challenges hold you back from living your dreams. Let us know which of these tips you think were helpful in the comment section below, or if none of them were helpful, it's honest, but you know, screw you. Also, our video about budget travel tips might be helpful for you, so I do say check it out. If you have any topics you'd like us to cover, then just let us know in the comment section, and yeah, we'll get to them. We'd love to hear from you. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more videos like this. We got a lot of content coming your way, so stay tuned. We'll see you in the next video. Later.